Hey, Brian Miller here and welcome to Audio for Content Creators where we help you sound better and level up for all your content creation needs. And yes, I am actually recording this with a on-camera shotgun mic, the Rode VideoMic NTG plugged directly into my camera. I'm doing this quickly because my six week old son, seven week old son today actually, is sleeping and I'm watching him on the video monitor and I don't expect to have a long time to make this video. I'm gonna to try to do it real quick so we're making this easy to do. This video is all about the Movo HMK1, the digital handheld microphone meant for smartphones, tablets, computers. They sent this to me back in July, it's November. I owe them a video, let's figure it out. You all know how much I hate unboxing videos so we're not going to make this a fancy unboxing. Yeah manual, whatever that is, case, same kind of case that always comes with Movo stuff. It's fake leather, it's got a zipper, it feels good, it feels nice. All the different cables you might need for all of the different types of connections, USB-C to USB-C, USB-C to USB-A, USB-C to Thunderbolt. You still sleeping? Still sleeping. Tabletop tripod, this I, I'm guessing is mostly useless, but that's okay. There's a lot of stuff in this box. Microphone mount, whole bunch of adapters. Gosh, this thing comes with a ton of stuff. And finally, Boom, the microphone itself, which is, this is, is it. The Movo HMK1 is a cardioid condenser microphone. It has a frequency response of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, sampling rates of 44.1, 48, and 96 kilohertz, supports both 16-bit and 24-bit, and connects via USB-C to USB-C, USB-C to USB-A, and USB-C to Lightning depending on your device. And it has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. The mic body itself features an input gain dial and a dial for headphone volume, plus an on off switch. Let's find out how it sounds. I'm gonna use my Samsung Note 8 as the test case, which means I'm looking for the USB-C to USB-C. I feel so frantic trying to make this video while he's sleeping. Plug in the USB-C. This is the, I mean, you can see, I'm opening this right now. I'm gonna try it for the first time, this is it. Plug in the other side and I should probably put headphones in so I can see how the, I'm not sure if this is going to be monitoring, like if I'll be able to hear myself while I'm recording or if it's gonna be for playback. My guess is it's for playback. My wife is texting me asking if I'll keep an eye on our son, yes, yes, Lens. Check, check, test, test, one, two, check, 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 test, test, one, two, check, check. Okay, so good news is it is direct monitoring. The monitoring, I can hear myself in my headphones coming right out of this, which is great. And now I am recording what I believe is actually recording through the smart recorder, um, directly through this new Movo microphone. Uh, in my headphones right now, it sounds excellent. My son is awake and he's crying to be continued on this video. <laughs> I gotta go take care of him. This sounds really good though. Hopefully it sounds good to you. I'm literally editing the episode right now. I just got, or the review, whatever this video is. I just got to the spot where my son woke up downstairs and I had to run to go get him. And literally as I'm editing it, he woke up again in the exact same moment while I'm editing that same spot. So I have to go get him again. <laughs> what are the odds of that? I'm coming, dude. Wow, okay, so I am, uh, I'm back. I uh, had to go on a walk with Milo, then I had to feed him, and then, then I had to change his diapers. It's a whole thing, it's been a couple of hours. I am back to recording this uh, right into my Samsung Note 8 via the Smart Recorder app, and I had a chance to listen to a little bit of the recordings while I was on the go, and I think this sounds really good. Let's do a test of the handling noise. Hopefully it's doing a pretty good job of rejecting. This thing seems like it's built like a tank. I'm very happy with that. Now, I have one concern right away and that's the gain dial, the input gain, as well as the headphone uh, volume, the monitoring dial. They're very easy to turn by accident while you're holding this and they're exactly where your palm would sit. So you, you kind of have to hold this thing lower than where the dials are. You see the dials are here. If you hold it close to the top, like you might normally hold a microphone, your hand is right on those dials and they can turn. They're not, they don't have um, a lot of resistance. I would have liked to either see these have more resistance or maybe to have to, I don't know, 
push in and turn at the same time or maybe to have them just all the way down here at the bottom. Uh, but in any regard, if you hold below those, uh, then you're, you're in good shape. So one thing I think that this would be great for this particular microphone is solo podcasters um, or doing interview style podcasting with one mic because all you have to do is put your phone in your pocket it's this really, really long cable, which is fantastic. It means the phone can just stay in your pocket or stay somewhere else, and you could basically do an interview where you talk, ask a question, they answer the question, you ask a question, they answer the question. Uh, you could do interview style, walking around a convention center somewhere in the distant future when we're in a post-COVID world or something like that. Or if you're doing a, a podcast with your spouse or someone you live with, of course, this is a uh, roommate. Uh, this is a great option for that. And if you're just a solo podcaster, of course, then you have the ability to stick it on a stand. So let's try this. Please ignore the incredibly messy desk that you're looking at here. Uh, as you can tell, this uh, stand that it comes with, this desktop stand, is next to useless for me. I sit up here, and this would obviously be way too far away. If I shrink myself all the way down here, though, uh, and I get right up on it, you'll see that it actually sounds, it sounds really good, honestly. I, I'm very, very impressed with the sound. Now, I'm using direct monitoring, so I'm hearing the microphone. I'm not hearing what the recording sounds like, and that's really important. You may be hearing something different than I'm hearing right now because it's being captured by my phone. And so any USB microphone is obviously beholden to whatever the capture source is. It's okay, it's a phone. Uh, if you plug it into your computer via USB, you're at the mercy of whatever co your computer's got going on. If you plug it into your tablet, same thing, right? It depends on what you're plugging it into. So we'll try some other sources in just a moment. But let's do a Pelosives test. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. You know, in my headphones, that sounds really really pretty good. I'm actually I'm actually pretty impressed by that. So here you go. You could do a, uh, a solo podcast. Hey, hey, welcome to Audio for Content Creators, the podcast where we help you sound better and level up for all your content creation needs. And for what it's worth, this is what it sounds like when I engage the proximity effect where I've got my lips basically touching the grill. Here I am about two inches away from the microphone. Here I am six inches away from the microphone. And here I am about two feet away from the microphone. Just getting on my podcastage. Little Bandrew action for you. All right, let's plug it into the computer and see how it sounds over there. All right, we've got the USB-C to USB-A kind of standard, very, very long cable, which is great because they know that you're going to be going to a computer, which may be further away from you. Uh, that also means that you can eliminate some of the issue of being close to a computer fan or a laptop fan uh, by having a USB cable that's this long, which is really good thinking on Movo's part. I'm pretty sure that this is reading in the Mac as digital microphone. That's what it's coming up as, digital microphone. All right, let's hit record. And now we are recording into the computer. Right now, I've got it set so that my level is around, yeah, peaking around minus eight. I could probably boost this up just a little bit and turn the gain up just a little bit here on the microphone. Uh, and of course, at this point, now that I'm plugged in, that's interesting. So now I'm plugged into the computer and I cannot monitor the audio anymore. I am not hearing myself in the headphones plugged into the computer. I was when I was plugged into my smartphone. I'm not plugged into the computer, which is weird. I don't know how to explain that. No, okay, so I'm not hearing myself at all. I am able to choose this microphone as the in-out device. I'm actually able to choose this microphone as the, the output, so in theory, I could listen. I could listen to audio, anything from the computer through the headphones right now, um, which actually I'd like to, uh, I'd like to try. All right, so I can confirm I'm able to listen to computer playback through this as long as I choose digital microphone as the output from the computer, basically what I'm using in the computer as speakers, right, my output. Um, and I was just listening to the recording I just made. It sounds, it sounds good. Uh, you know, it's it's not, it doesn't sound like a high-end microphone. Uh, you, you, you know, it doesn't have the warm beefy sound that you would hope for from going into real preamps uh, or anything like that because it is a USB mic, but uh, the plosives were there. They, there was some decent rejection, not phenomenal rejection of the plosives, um, but all in all, I thought it sounded pretty good.
And there you have it. So now I'm kind of using the microphone the way that um, you might if you were using the computer. So I can like hold it here. I can talk, podcast, voiceover, narration, whatever. I can stay away from the computer in case the fans were kicking on. And uh, and I, I think this is a really, really solid package. So do I recommend this? Yeah. Yeah, this is great. I mean, it's not for me. I have no real use case for this, but you know what I would use this for in a world where I was still traveling the way I always used to? I would throw this in my bag with the USB-C to USB-A cable. Actually, I would probably throw it in my bag with all three cables. It's such a small package, right? You could probably toss all three cables and the microphone in here. I would just leave it in my travel case, and if I ever needed to do serious podcasting, voiceover, narration, I didn't want to bring all the heavy stuff with me. I didn't want to bring audio interfaces or portable audio recorders or any of that stuff, and I was going to be at a convention or a conference where I was speaking and didn't have a lot of time in between but wanted to be able to interview other people or get their reactions to things, to be able to just plug this into your phone hit record, put your phone in your pocket, and then just walk around at any time, talk to someone, hey, nice to meet you, what's your name? Yeah, and how did you think about that last thing? Which do you prefer, giraffes or Bosnia? Right, whatever you're, <laughs> whatever you're doing. Uh, it would be really, that to me would be a really cool function to just have this thing kind of permanently as a backup or as an easy go-to, don't think about it solution for, you know, a as we say all the time, the best camera is the one in your pocket, the best microphone, the best recorder is the one in your pocket. This is a step up from simply taking your phone out and using your phone's built-in microphone. This is a significant step up. It's a little nasally from what I heard, um, maybe a little thin, it wasn't quite as deep as I would like, but those are all qualities that I care about when I'm looking at pro-grade XLR microphones going into good interfaces or good audio recorders with good preamps. For a USB mic, I'm not going to get too nitpicky about the sonic characteristics. It does what it's supposed to do, it sounds pretty good, I don't think there's too much handling noise which is good for a handheld microphone, and I think you'd be very very happy with this for certain use cases. I think I actually managed to get through this whole review. Uh, if this was helpful, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Audio for content creators, we always help you sound better and level up. My name is Brian Miller. I think I said all that stuff in the wrong order. You can always check out my online course, Audio 101 for content creators at audio101.info if you want to really level up your game. Product links and all kinds of stuff in the description down below. Having said all that, thanks so much for sticking with me. And always remember, our world is a shared experience. Every interaction is meaningful, and every person you meet, which you can now record easily, is important. I'll see you next time. He's still sleeping. He's still sleeping. Oh, the, the ASMR... ASMR? AMSR? No, it's ASMR, right? The ASMR crowd. <laughs>